now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, Johnny Carson. And I'm here with the Pro Tour Cure. Pro Tour Cure. This is only up for like three more days. It's up for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I don't know. Like, why one week? It's such a small period of time. Give us two weeks at least. Two weeks seems fair. It's not as long as a regular cube. But it's not really like no time at all. One week goes by real fast. Ah, oh, yes. What are we taking? Oh, this pack has got some gems. Some spicy boys. Got a recurring nightmare. A Sphinx's Revelation. I feel like recurring nightmare is a pretty good card to just pick off the top. That's because they heard my complaints on Discord and they're getting... Wow, that's... That's something. We could just take this JM Day Tome, a four mana artifact that you can tap four to draw a card with. Filk Money, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I'm going to take this recurring nightmare. No beats. I like that you're so salty that you replied to yourself there. That's nice. All right, we got a recurring nightmare here. I could take a wall of roots. There's no necessary reason to be green, but green-black is also the uh, color of reanimator. Gotta keep them reanimated. Oh, don't pay no mind if you're reanimating all the time. All right. Could just take Skeletal Vampire, which is actually a pretty good re recurring nightmare target. You can sack a bat to get something back, or you can bring back the Skeletal Vampire, which... uh. Makes more bats. I think it's probably Vampire here. Crypt Angel, another fine target. It's a twofer. A twofer! But it does put us uh, into blue or red if we don't want this to be useless. Uh, other than that, we can actually take some Sky Swallower because that's pretty good if we have a way to put it in the graveyard with a recurring nightmare. I'm going to take that. 6-6 six, six Flying Trample Shroud is probably the most gross thing you could do, I would imagine. I'm going to take a Verdant Catacomb. I like a Verdant Catacomb. I think. Yeah, I don't see anything better than that. Plus, if we're green, it's great. Nissa, Voice of Zendikar, Heritage Druid. Ruinous Path, probably the card we want. Planeswalkers are strong in the cube. Plus, none of these lands are on color, and Nissa, Voice of Zendikar is not really a thing we care about. It does give us tokens to sacrifice, but... I mean, pretty much any green planeswalker is going to do that. And I'm not sure we're really that green. Right now, we're, we're basically just uh, Sultai Floaty Boys. Diagraph Sergeant, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. 17 months in a row. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Eric, what's going on? What do we have here? Fintorn Elves could be good. Hmm. This is where I want to branch into the Sultai. Acidic Slime is pretty fine. I think Fintorn Elves is a stronger card. I don't think we'd take any of these other cards. Serrated Arrows doesn't do anything for us. Scroll Rack, man. I think it's probably Fintorn Elves. No beats. Considering your luck with this cube, I will likely not be taking your advice. If there's a choice between two cards and you pick one of them, I will likely go the other direction. So. Spike Weaver. Ooh, Spike Weaver. Uh, Eric, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, I think it might just be Spike Weaver. What does this guy do? Fog? Yeah. That's Fog Weaver. Fog Weaver. Ba -ba also, getting this guy back. Not bad. 
I don't think it's Dryad. I don't think it's Heart of Kirin. <sighs> I'll just take Spike Weaver. Could actually be pretty good. Hmm. Well, I'll be a biscuit. I would probably just take Abrupt Decay here. I could see taking Green Sun Zenith, but I don't know how many green creatures we're going to actually have. I'd rather just have the uh, solid removal here. I think. God, I don't even know. See, I haven't done enough of this cube to know for sure whether Green Sun is better than Abrupt Decay. I don't know what we're playing around. I don't know how strong these archetypes are, so I'm just going to take the Abrupt Decay. It kills everything. Including your entire family. Do you have thoughts about Hearthstone? Yeah, I have lots of thoughts about Hearthstone. Hearthstone's great. Um, probably Rampant Growth. I could see taking Temple of Malady, actually. I like the fixing a land better than a spell. Yeah, I think Temple... Temple of, Temple of Malady is probably better. Malady? Um, do I just take Rogue Refiner? It's like... I'm not going to take this or this. I don't care about any of these. Rogue Refiner is actually a reasonable creature. Elvish Visionary, that actually goes well with a Spike Weaver. Or with a uh, Recurring Nightmare, rather. Don't know why I said Spike Weaver there. We could take Crypt Angel. I don't think I care about a Crypt Angel that much. None of these cards are great. I will take this Flare Husk, because worst case scenario, we just sacrifice the Germ to the Nightmare. Germs, germs and nightmares. Nope, wrong visionary. That's a totally different visionary. I'll take Bloodbraid Elf because maybe, maybe. Oh, Dreamweaver. But now I have I have Dreamweaver stuck in my head thanks to Spike Weaver. Wow, this card. I don't think this card is actually terrible. I feel like it's always unblockable. It's just a 2 1 unblockable for two. Whether that's good enough, I don't know. But. Obnixilis is a saucy gentleman. Psychotog is a good way to throw some cards in the graveyard. Eternal Witness is a good way to get back those cards. <sighs> yes, I, I always think of Wayne's World when I think of Dreamweaver. God, I like Obnixilis way more than I should, I think. I think I like cards that just let you draw one extra card a turn. Phyrexian Arena, Obnixilis. Dark Confidant I'm less I'm less interested in because it's it's A, it's much more fragile, and B, it could kill you. Whereas things like Obnixilis and Phyrexian Arena often don't. What's the biggest smoky potato monster in the bottom do? Uh deals one damage to each creature and each player when it, at the beginning of your upkeep, and when it dies, it deals one damage to each creature and each player, so. I think it is Eternal Witness. And I bet Blooming Marsh comes back. I bet Psychotog even comes back. Oh, Liliana the Last Hope. That puts things in the graveyard. Oh, Kodama of the North Tree, though. I'm pretty sure we made a vow to ourselves to always play Kodama of the North Tree when, when we've got... If we saw it, because... Good lord, am I tired of seeing this card against me. Yeah, we're taking that. We're taking that. We're taking that fatty. Fatty, oh, he just he just he just shamed that Kodama of the North Tree. I like a polluted Delta. Be better than a bad river, surprisingly. Regal Force, I don't care about. Drowner of Hope would be a nice. That's a nice. You're welcome, Pro Tour Cube. Uh, I think we're just taking the polluted Delta. Oh, I like a Simic Signet. Oh, a Misty Rainforest Animal Drifter? Come on with this. Oh, boy. I don't think we need this yet because we actually don't have any 
fetch lands. I would like a Muldrifter or a Simic Signet. Crying out loud. I think it's Simic Signet. God, it feels so bad. I like a Skur Tribe Elder. That actually seems fine. I like a Vraska's Contempt more, though. Oh, yeah, Vraska's kind of is super strong. Shriek Maw. Okay, okay. Wow. Zealous Conscripts and Splinter Twin. We just passed the Dizzy Rex arc. One smoky potato monster bug. <laughs> Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. As always, I appreciate your uh, your existence and your generosity. I don't feel like we're really having a, a recurring nightmare deck. It feels like we just have a soul type mid-range good stuff deck. Uh, I, s I think Kalidus is better than Botanical Sanctum. Yeah, I think that's better. Eye Blight's ending actually seems... If we want to splash red, we get Bloodbraid Elf and Batuminous Blast. That's pretty cool. Is that better than an Eye Blight's ending, which probably kills every creature in this format? Maybe. I mean, we could also take Rogue Refiner and Simic Sky Swallower out and play the red cards. I mean, I, I feel like Batuminous Blast is pretty good. Like, we have Vraska's Contempt. We, I, I mean, like, what are we doing if we're not just trying to play 5,000 colors, right? Come on, let's be real. Are we really having... Are we really living our best lives if we're not playing a fourth color? I don't think so. Especially when they're two of, like, the strongest Cascade cards ever. Bloodbraid into Recurring Nightmare. Petuminous Blast into Bloodbraid into something else. Come on. These are all very good. Now we get Blightning. Now we're just playing standard Jund here. I'm going to take that over Electrolyze because it is possible we might cut the blue. And if we take a... Oh, Raging Ravine. Seems good. I spent like an hour reading Wikipedia's about cold. That's fascinating. Who would do that? <laughs> I guess you would. I guess I don't have to ask that question. Dreamweaver. This is a late Liliana of the, Liliana of the Vest. I want to take Liliana over a Fireball. If we don't play red, we can just play Liliana. Oh, Tribuilder came back? My god, nobody has any respect in this cube. I'm going to take this red card. I want. I just want one land to fetch with Pluto Delta and Verdant Catacombs. I would prefer two lands, but I'll take one. <sighs> Mox Diamondo. Wow, Volcanic Island is actually perfect. We can get it with Delta. It's both of our splash colors. Scarab God's great. Punishing Fire is okay. Thought Not Seer's. Thought Not Seer's seems... All the friggin' Eldrazi with Colorless with Wasteland in their casting costs seem really bad. You just don't have any ways to cast them. I don't want a double blue card. I think it's just Volcanic Island. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cryptic man, huh? Well, that's brutal. Lenoir Waste is okay. We already have Blooming Marsh, Verdant Catacomb, and Temple of Milady. So, I don't know if we'd play that. I could see just playing Ultimate Price here, which is pretty good. I don't care about Gilded Lotus, because once we play the Gilded Lotus, like, we've already, uh, cast, we, we already played most of our things. Um, we're not so heavy green that, like, we just want a second green, mono green elf. I'd rather just have a Fixing Land. Or an Ultimate Price. Like, our removal right now is pretty much Vraska's Contempt, uh, not recurring, Ruinous Path, and Abrupt Decay, and Shriek Maw, and Bit Blast. It's pretty good. It's actually not bad. Uh, why no Sword of Fire and Ice? Is, what are you asking me here? You asking why I didn't take that? Because I value having a solid mana base that lets me cast all my cards. I want to take the land. I convinced myself that we have a good amount of removal. Oh, now we can play this Rally Smasher off of one of our lands. 
See, I don't love that. It's just kind of narrow. I literally just explained why Lotus isn't that great. What are my thoughts on pie? I think it is a solid dessert. I think it's top tier. Uh, Windswept Heath doesn't get anything other than a forest right now, which is pretty bad. Chameleon Colossus is pretty strong, though. I can see they can Oran Viper, too, to be honest. I actually kind of like Oran Viper here. Yeah, I'm going to take Oran Viper. That's just a shot of my Jumpful Trader. Overgrown Tomb. Oh, that's great. We can get it with Verdant Catacomb or a Polluted Delta. I don't care about the Mimic. None of these are exciting. Thran Dynamo's meh. Yeah, definitely Overgrown Tomb. We also have 21 playables. We need two cards, and I, I think we're just fine. Oh, see, a Bird of Paradise. Now we're talking. I could see taking a Confiscate, but the problem is we don't really have much blue fixing. We have a Volcanic Island and a Polluted Delta. Not great. And I think Bird of Paradise is probably better. All right. If my nose could stop itching, that'd be great. Farseek is pretty good. That would be a nice 23rd card. Can't take Mirari's Wake. Den Protector we don't need. We have uh, an Eternal Witness. It's not Biden. It's not Processor. It's not the Johnny. Although this is a good Johnny. Yeah, we're just going to take Farseek. Yavimai Coast seems great. Prosperity I don't care about. A tune, Actually, a tune. Well, see, the problem is we don't have anything to use the energy on. We have a Rogue Refiner that's already getting us two energy. And we just have no use for that. So it's almost just better to have the land. We don't want to have a 23rd card. Tropical Island? Wow, that's a beautifully late Tropical Island. We can fetch it with Polluted Delta and Verdant Catacomb. And blue is a color we definitely want to be fixing. Was there a Kokusho in there? See, that is a mistake. That that might have been the right pick. Wow, both of these guys came back. We have a Yavimai Coast and a Llanowar Wastes now. I still don't think two lands is enough to cast this guy. You're a tropical island. Touche. Touche. Also, this is apparently a sort of War and Peace, not a sort of Fire and Ice. So, apparently... Apparently, Marine King IMG does not know what they're talking about. I can see Civic Wayfinder. I think it's actually just Scarab God. I think that's probably better than Liliana Vess. Jace Bellerin is very good. Rakdos Skilled Mage is pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take the Rakdos Skilled Mage. I'm not sure we're going to play it. Reality Smasher. Man. I'm just taking the Reality Smasher for the... Uh, for the sentimentality of it. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lillian of S out. I think Scarab God is definitely better. Our mana base is going to be insane. How many lands is this? <laughs> Casual 10, 10 fixing lands? It's pretty good. It's good because it gives us room for uh, basic lands, which are nice for Tribe Elder. Or I guess that's it, huh? Because we're probably going to be getting uh, Tropical Island or Volcanic Island with, an, with a Far Seek or an Overgrown Tomb, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies. My apologies. take this Ajani. We have nobody... Uh, it's not going to be Scab Clan Mauler. I'd rather have the Ajani and just cast off a Bird of Paradise if I have to. It's all uh, prosperity. We can win the game with that guy. Alright, so we're gonna, this is our deck, right? Pretty simple. Straightforward. 
not a ton of sideboard options. Okay, so we actually have no non-green-black uh, single-colored cards. So that's pretty interesting. And we have a ton of black-green lands, which is great. This actually worked out pretty well. Um, okay. So, because of Tri Builder, we're going to add one red, and we're going to add one blue, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven sources of blue, which is great. Um, more than enough. One, two, three, uh, plus f f delta, which is four. One, two, three, four sources of red for three red cards. More than enough, especially with Tribe Elder and Farseek and Bird of Paradise. So. Uh, green, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's more than enough. Might go to 12 just for the heck, for the heck of it right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I think 12, 9 is probably just fine. And we still get one more land. Okay. Just going to add another black. So 12, 10 is our is our green to black ratio, right? Green is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Black, we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, okay, 9. That seems good. I'm a fan. That is loud. Sathos, what's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. This hand is pretty fine. We'll keep it. Got some expensive boys, but we get a scry. It's almost like we're on the. It's almost like we mulliganed. Chef Uncle, what's going on? Sort of Papa John's. It would be the Dud Red Mythic Rare. Papa Bless. Give me a blue source and we'll be good to go. Red? I actually don't want you. We don't have any red cards. We do want a blue source. Watch, they're going to be playing mono black, and we're just going to have Shriekma on our hand. It's going to be the saddest experience. That's pretty good. Oh, that's going to be nice. Well, we're definitely, definitely discarding this guy. So what What do you know? Maybe they helped us in the long run. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. What color is the deck? Base black, green. What is this against? Pro black, pro green. Okay. I wish I had a way to deal with artifacts. Unfortunately, magic is a hard game.
Yep. No, who, who saw that coming? Sword of Pineapple and Pizza actually makes the most sense because most all of the swords are opposing colors. Um, so Sword of, of Pineapple and Pizza is actually the most the most fitting sword because they're two very opposite flavors that have no right being together and they're actually natural enemies. So, you know. Perfect. Boy, I wish I had a non-black, non-green card. I don't think we can actually beat this card. It's unfortunate, but here we are. Yep. So we go reanimate. I'll reanimate your sky swallow. They didn't do anything with the mana. Fascinating. Miss no brown moon is been knocking. Oh, you're gonna let this resolve? Okay. Well, you almost paid costs there. I guess if we play Spike Weaver next turn, we can actually uh, start fogging. Now nah, we're probably playing on turn five, so we can keep up fog, right? He's been dancing with the Mr. Brownstone. Yep, take another four. <laughs> yeah, that song is definitely about heroin. She's, he's been knocking. He won't leave me alone. No, no, no. Boy, Shriek Ma, you're looking pretty terrible here. I'll counter your eternal witness. I really don't know how to be a sort of feast and famine. I think we just actually... I think our opponent just got a buy in the first round. Thanks to... Sword of Feast and Femino. No blocks. Put a Shriek Maw in the trash can. We kept the Shriek Maw originally because we didn't think they were this concentrated of black, but here we are. And they are. I don't think it actually matters what we get here. I'm going to get Tropical Island. Just because it's gorgeous. Green... This guy's never resolving. We already saw them try to activate a thing, so... Try to cast something during our turn. Just make sure you read it. They're gonna read it. They're like, hold on, let me see what Spike Weaver does. Oh, he's like, ah, oh, that's fine. Ah, uh, nobody cares about that. where they repulse us. You repulse me. No, they didn't. All right. Oh, uh, we do have an Abrupt Decay. We have one Abrupt Decay in our deck. That is correct. Ah, 
around 10,000 years, I'm finally free. That's that's a little Rita Repulse us there. Ah! Oh, Hypnotic Spectre. So just literally mono black creatures. God, I wish I took that Languish, man. Boop. Well, at least this guy gives us a two-turn reprieve. Can't actually play bats. I have to sneeze again. God, it's not going to happen. This is the worst, man. Oh, God. And I'm just going to get Overgrown Tomb. I will not pay two life. I'll play Raging Ravine. I will pass. Uh, all the MMRP comics, the, the all the new MMPR comics look very, very good. I haven't read them personally, but um, I know they are being taken seriously by actual, like, legitimate comic readers. So uh, take that as you will. Also, they have some pretty sweet virgin covers on them. Go, go, Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. Go, go, Power Rangers. You might have... All right, well, we're just going to keep on preventing. Oh, that's a thing. All right, well. Oh, you're going to move it to Kalidus. Okay. Kalitas. Okay, there's a lot of lands. I'm not thrilled. I also have no desire to go to four here because that's two hits instead of three. God, even the Raging Ring is friggin' green. Alright, well, one, nope. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Bat city. I mean, we can draw a couple things. We can draw. Unfortunately, the spike weaver is going to give them a token. I don't think we can actually win this game. That's my that's my theory. It's not looking good. Go, go, Power Rangers. What do you do? Psychobat regenerated, Psychobat create two bats. They're also at eight. Like, we're actually not that terribly far out of the game. Pretty sure I'm black and green. Okay, so just to be clear, every one of my creatures is black and green. You got it. Enjoy. Enjoy the catacomb. Move your sortie. Give me that abrupt decay, boy. That's not gonna do it. So we died. It's gonna be the next card. Scarab God's also pretty good. There it is. It's still only two away. But that's not good enough yet. This is a song about a whale. No, this is a song about being happy. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really have any efficient ways to deal with that stupid card. <sighs> yeah, we'll just put Liliana Vest in because she brings, she gives us another abrupt decay. Good lord. 
I guess just don't have it, huh? Go, go, Power Ranger. Now the Power Ranger song stuck in my head. Because you guys are monsters. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Would you like to play first? Yes. One Frank the Opera of the Gathering buck. Wow, that is... Ooh, that's a hell of a buck. Of course, they're just going to have Inquisition for our Rupp Decay, and then they're going to... Then they're going to kill it. Then they're going to drop the bomb. Reality Smasher is non-green-black. That's true. Go, go, Power Ranger! Vault Scourge, huh? Okay, that's a little cutie. What are we getting here? We have a red, so probably a tropical island. Tropy McIsland. I found the MMPR song on Rock Band back in the day. Super oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take one whole damage. This is much less threatening an ancient tomb sort of feast and famine stifle I would cry one double colon buck that's not okay that's not that's not good Sakura McTribalson that's Stephen Tribelder Hello, little Steven. Michael Barbobbly Boo, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. I I feel like everything is usually pernicious dude's fault. That's where I that's where I what's what I that's what I default to. Oh man, I lost my job. Thanks a lot, pernicious dude. Oh man. My roof caved in? Thanks a lot, pernicious dude. I'm going to get an overgrown tomb, and we're going to get an island. This is a lot of lands. We are doing doing well. Not, not, I mean, they don't have anything yet, but still, I would like some, I would like some gas here. I don't have the right sunburn, freeze a burn, choking on the ashes of our enemy. Wow, that's amazing how you can do that. You are a talented individual. Well, that's a good one. Kapow. Game three. Interactive magic, ladies and gentlemen. Typically, mana flood is looked at as worse than mana starved, because if you're mana starved, once you start drawing lands, you have a ton of things to do, and you're almost guaranteed to draw lands at some point. Uh, once you're mana starved, you literally have to draw a string of things to do and um you know usually it'll be like okay i drew one card i'll play it but like where you're mana starved or you know if you draw if, you, if you're mana screwed if you start drawing lands then you have multiple choices and more things you can do is having two colons like having dual exhaust hey curry you're the one who 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 double coloned me which is you know that's a term
Choking on the ashes of Simic Sky Swallower. This is a lot of lands. One, two, three, four, five cards. This is a land. I never count these as non lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like eleven to four. I mean, one of them happened to be a Simic Sky Swallower. There's no way Nirvana wants. There's no way Dave Grohl and Chris Novoselic would ever want to tour and have uh, the lead singer of Nickelback sing for them. Like that's that's some real National Enquirer level bullshit right there. Dave Grohl has too much respect for himself as a musician. Okay, well, this is not white, so. My concern is minimal. Oh my god. I, I would love to get something back with this Eternal Witness, but... It's not the world we live in, my friends. Have you ever attacked with a Bird of Paradise for lethal... Uh, I think I have, because it had a sword on, so... Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think that's better than Damnation. Hypnotic Spectre. Okay, that guy's getting killed. Choking on the ashes of abrupt decay. In the sun, one, two, three, four, five. That's actually really good. Get him. Get him. Do, 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 do. Oh, Simic Sky Swallower. Do, 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 do. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So now we can go green, green for Eternal Witness. We also have black, blue for activation. Because if they counter this, we're just going to play Eternal Witness and probably get it back. We could also get Rub Decay back and actually cast it. The sword could also hold it from its beak, too, right? Don't you remember you had a not expector? But didn't do do said you have a hypnot expector. Well, that's just rude. Guess we're not guess we're taking three. Going to five. Hope you can't hope you can't kill me. Nightscape Familiario. Well, I'm not gonna get anything back here, so. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that's actually pretty perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, I mean, they block here and here, right? And they can't regenerate. And we get a zombie. We go to two, and then we... They have to block here, right? Yeah, we're just attacking with both. They have to block both, so... 
and they only have one power in the air so and now they can't deep analysis as well We could have not played Kalidus, but I saw only one mana up, so I wasn't really too afraid of mana leak. I just didn't consider it with the Night Veils, the Night Shade, Night Shape Familiar, whatever that thing is called. I have no idea. Is Rakdos Guild Mage good here? Like, we get to. What does it kill? Hypnotic Spectre, it kills Nightshade Familiar, it kills Vault Scourge, which is weird. It kills a lot of their guys. Does give us a turn two play. It might be better than like. We have 14 creatures, but it doesn't actually seem like we're drawing a ton of creatures, which is kind of funny. So maybe, maybe, I'm not supposed to know. Oh, this hand is good. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Turn one bird into turn two elves and temple of malady seems pretty okay. And even if they take the bird, it's still pretty good. If we draw any on tap land, we can play Blightning on turn two. I don't know if that's the play we want, but having the option is nice. Inquisition. Yep, like you do. That's rude. Still gonna play this. this is solid. Means we can't play uh, turn three Kalidus because this is not this. We also can't play Blightning because this is not this. But you get it. Still pretty good. They have three cards in hand? Wow, I think we're just blightening them. Blight blightening them then. What are these words I'm saying? Nobody knows. We don't have a black, do we? That was terrible. I'm not good at this game at all. Guess we'll blightening next turn. Oh, this is totally a temp temple of malady play. Turn, turn play. God, my God. I totally forgot we didn't have a black mana. I got so excited by the red. Well, that's, that's a costly mistake that we're going to have to live with for the rest of our lives. Okay, that's a thing. Please let me find an abrupt decay. Yeah, that was terrible. I assume you discard both these to make Psychotog bigger. Why don't you just play the Force Spike? Interesting. Uh, if, I think if Waste were basically land you could add, I think the Eldrazi would be great. Uh, I don't think they'd be crazy good. The The problem being, you don't want to add a ton of waste to your deck. You know what I mean? But I like the option of adding like two or three wastes just in case you can play a Thoughts, a Thought thought Not Seer or a Reality Smasher. Because I think they're almost unplayable at this point where you just have to get like this group of... Yeah, we're just going to... Ah, two double black cards. I really wish we played Temple of Malady first. 
that one land drop is going to really cost us. Recurring Nightmare could be good here. I think the Painlands are some of the only way. I mean, there's some artifacts, obviously. Um, signets don't do it. Like Things like Ancient Tomb are fine to do it, but... It's not terrible. We're definitely playing this because we want a second black. Definitely don't want you, and that's pretty good. The question is, do we keep Kalidus, or do we actually... Yeah, we're just going to get rid of this guy. One, two, one, two, three. Or we can actually make a guy and attack for five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw another red, we can actually do both. Making a goblin here is pretty okay. It's pretty good on board too. I mean, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. We actually can't we actually can't make a guy though because we actually don't have enough. This is going to cost a red and a black and we don't have Temple of Malady yet, so that is not ideal. The question is, which is better in the long in the long game? Can this guy kill us? They go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, not yet. I actually think the lifelink is more relevant here. I think our odds of drawing another red are pretty low. I think the odds of just gaining life with Kalidus every single turn are pretty high. So they drew two and got rid of one from the graveyard, so that should be another plus one. Every card in the yard is worth 0.5, every card in the hand is worth... Oh, it's actually 1.5, so... Actually, every card in the hand is worth... They're worth one on their own, but then they also go to the graveyard, so... Every card in the hand is worth 1.5? God, I don't even know, man. Magic's a hard game. If you don't know how many mountains are in the deck, you probably shouldn't be making play suggestions about what cards I should be playing based on drawing a mountain. <laughs> that seems like it's just a bad idea, right? Your choice. This is like quite a quite a long time here. Is anyone else getting audio sync issues? Please let me know if you're getting audio sync issues. That is not ideal. It's funny because that guy was the actual that guy was actually the Rakdos Guildmage just significantly better now that we had uh now that they have Villain and Click on the board. Except that you forgot I am chat, making obligatory comments on your prior knowledge that we do. That is fair. That is a fair point, my friend. It's a lot of, uh... Yep, that's not good. Nope. Well, black and green, huh? Well, that's all I got. So, you get to attack for five, and then we get to do nothing...
Talk with big lip movements. Hey guys, I just want to check the syncing of the audio right now. So I'm going to talk with big lip movements so that you can make sure to sync up the audio and the video. And I don't know why I said you can sync it up because you can't really do that. There's no real control you have over it. It's just, you know what? We're done here. We're done, guys. Yep. If I could just get rid of the sword, we're in real good shape. Maybe. Yikes. And dead. Okay. Well, I think this game looks great. I think our deck... Uh, oh my god. Jesus. I get it, lands. I get it. I really wish whoever got Britney Spears stuck in my head would stop because I'm going to get demonetized because of the accuracy. I mean, I think we literally lost that match to sort of pe sort of Feast and Famine. They don't have sort of Feast and Famine. Like we just, I, I think we'll win that game a hundred times out of a hundred. Sure, it's got all the things we need. Whatever. I think we also lost it to uh, playing Temple of Malady uh, a turn later than we wanted to. That was significantly bad. I thought we were going to be able to play Blightning that turn, but uh, that is not how Blightning works. Sad days. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. Yeah, if you're just attacking for two here, I'm okay with it. The time I... Actually, maybe you just kill that thing anyway. That seems stupid though, right? We got two removal spells. before they play Jitte. And then we're like, well, I wish I had an answer for that. Dang. I was... Oh, they just didn't play anything. Seems good. Do we just run this out here? I think so. I don't think we're too scared of just having it sit there. I'd rather just save the mana than, you know... I'm always holding on to my butt no matter what. <laughs> That's a solid strategy. Sometimes you just need to uh, preemptively hold your butt, you know? I can understand that. A little preemptive butt holding. Yeah, that guy's dead. As soon as we get a, a thing. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? This is probably a better target for uh, Abrupt Decay, considering that we have no... They have, they have, they haven't, what, why do you, how did you, it's, oh, they didn't play anything on turn two. It doesn't necessarily, they didn't, they didn't miss a land drop. They just didn't play anything. How about a black mana so then we can go Vraska's Contempt into Skeletal Vampire. Yeah, it seems fine. Well, yeah, that is a black mana. What are we going to get here, Overgrown Tomb? It might just be Swamp. Fill up that hand. Roll that beautiful fill up hand footage. Oh, a mountain. I see. Oh, you didn't play a mountain. Okay. Mm, okay. I understand now. Oh, do we just blood braid elf? Okay. 
We're gonna skeletal vampire because if they kill it, we can go blightning, blood braid, blightning, bluff. <laughs> you heard? They're gonna kill in response. No, everybody, everything is happening that we don't expect to happen. We know two of their three, their two of their five cards are lands. Path to exile. Yeah, sure. Seems good. Get a forest. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Those are some good lip movements. Blood bling in the blood bling. Blood. Yeah, you, I agree with you. I'm going to get three more lands. I'm going to get all the lands. I'm going to fill up on lands. Alkaline Fish, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Give me more lands. Planes again. All right. So now four of the lands in your hand. Do I block this, this vigilant cat? Probably not. Two bats are better than one cat. Bats greater than cats. You heard it here first. I played four Bilberry Elves against my Jonah Pony. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, I'm sure they were laughing out of like, well, it must be dice kind of laugh. Uh, I think we're just doing that instead. Let's attack for two here. Yeah, once you get some Sky Swallower, your opponent's probably like, I guess I died. The Crank, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Fair and, fair and interactive magic card. Banishing Light. You got it. I don't even have anything in the graveyard, man. I don't actually think we play anything else. Like, if they have, like, Wrath of God, I really want to keep these threats in hand. And uh, they're dead next turn anyway. I assume they play to planes, right? So they have three lands in hand and three unknowns. And EOT, we can always Petuminous Blast and put, like, a... At least a Shroud instead of Hexproof. Yeah, I guess I can't pump it now. And Simic Sky Swallower wins another game. I would love some card drawing in this deck. Like, we have uh, Oran Viper, which we have not seen yet. We have Rogue Refiner, which gets us a little deeper. We have Elvish Visionary, which we have not seen yet. But Guild Mage, again, could be pretty good. Pyroclasm is probably pretty good. Although, un unfortunately, well, no, I think, I think Pyroclasm is good enough. I'm gonna take a Finhorn Elve out because it just dies to Pyroclasm. Whereas at least, at least Rogue Refiner, we get our value out of Elvish Visionary, we get value out of uh, Eternal Witness, we get value out of. Like we saw Step Links and we saw Skylight Legionnaire in their graveyard, so oh, this hand is great. And that guy dies to a Pyroclasm as well. Oh boy. I'm gonna hold that in case they have something like uh, Wasteland. <sighs> like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've been the stream escape go for quite some time, my friend. Quite some time. If we draw a green, we can go Elvish Visionary and Sakura Tri Builder in the next in the in the next turn, which is pretty nice. Boeing magic, what does that even mean? Wow, look, they're punishing us for the uh for waiting to play this volcanic island. Isn't that funny? Isn't that comical? Probably just gonna play that. We're gonna play a tri builder. Coming to play tapped, boy. This comes into play tapped anyway. Joke's on you. Um, we're gonna. I guess we should have cracked this first. One, two, three, four. We don't need that. Now I'm probably just gonna wait, cause we can get a free block out of this. 
I'm not sure if we're just going to ruin his path, though. Like, taking four is just fine. I can go to 14. That's not a concern. Considering we have Scarab God in our hand, this might not even be worth Ruinous Pathing, but it also just we just might actually just play Ruinous Path, or uh, just play Scarab God if we actually crack this guy. Alternatively, yep, that's what we're killing. Yeah, so we can keep Tri Builder up a turn. Yeah, so we'll get another green. And then if we draw something like Pyroclasm, we're actually in really good shape here. There was a time I was a broken hearted Sometimes you block and you fetch away Gonna get a forest. Do, 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 do. They didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually go. I'm worried about. Um... I am a little worried about banishing light. I think we're gonna Elvish Visionary here. See what we hit. I'm less worried about it now. I'm still worried about it now. Well, that's pretty good. <sighs> Boy, Thali is real obnoxious. Can we get that? Can we get a, Oh, what if we get Eternal Witness into Pyroclasm again? That would be sick. One time Eternal Witness. Blightning. That's not going to do it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's pretty bad. I guess we have a Spike Weaver. Which, again, our Lord and Savior Spike Weaver does do us some... Do us some saving here. Man, Spike Weaver doing some work in these matches. I mean, not necessarily, like, winning us any games, but being able to, like, fog three turns is pretty good. Unless they have a Gideon Jura, in which case you don't get to deal, you know, you get to save us one time. Yeah, surprisingly, this card has been really problematic from forcing us to miss our plays to... Oh, Shriek Maw is actually pretty good here. Shriek Maw kill you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty sure we still have to chump block with uh, Scarab God, though, right? Or else we die to th these guys. I mean, it is what it is. We either play Scarab God or we play Oran Viper, but I mean, neither are going to kill Gideon. Thank you. Boost Pudding, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Well, okay, well, that's. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. So, fascinating. Yep, yeah, going to bring in Rakdos Guild Mage as well here. Let's 
Recurring Nightmare actually doesn't seem great. Uh, actually, Blighting I like. You can redirect the Blighting to the Planeswalkers, which is super nice. Um, I think this is... I think our, ah, man, our deck seems like it's well-positioned here. We have Contempt, Pyroclasm, like a bunch of things to do. Oh, yeah, keep this hand forever. I would like to get a Volcanic Island here, but I think we're just going to go Overgrown into Bird. We can get a Tropical Island. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tropical Island into second turn Rogue Refiner into third turn Kalidus, ideally. That actually seems pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think we can get a red source with this, so I'm just going to get Tropical Island here. And Kalidus next turn seems like a real good sequence of plays, plus two removal spells, both of which take care of Planeswalkers, which is nice. Yeah, we'll play Kalidus first. I assume they'll have Path to Exile. We can get a Mountain, though, if they do, so... Long-time YouTube bummer, first time catching you live. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate the YouTube support and the regular support. And the Twitch support. Support at all levels. It's good times, good times. Oh, I guess we just win that match. Seems good. I guess turn three, turn two Rogue Refiner, turn three Kalidus is where you want to be. All right. Let's try it again. Try again. Try, try again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The tables have turned. Oh, and zoo, boo, doo, 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 doo. Why do I have this Aerosmith song stuck in my head? You guys are the worst, man. And by worst, I mean the best. All around, and nothing that I ever came here down. How the gentleman's one two at F and M. What does that mean? Temple of my lady. In response, I'll crack my evolving wilds. Okay. You got it. Bottom. I have way... One, two, three, four, five lands is more than enough for me right now. Oh, a gentleman's, a gentleman's one, two being a one, two in general. Okay. Ooh, now we have a decision to make. I like Bloodbraid Elf next turn. That's pretty good. I'm going to save the Sakura Tri-Builder for some reason. I don't know what... I, don't, I actually... Oh, wow. Double Spectral Procession decks back-to-back. -back. That is fascinating to me. Can we Blightning like, like old times? Oh, wow. Wow. I don't even want to cast it. Why? I don't know. I should have just cast it, right? That's so bad. I'm, I'm upset because if we played this guy first, we could have actually got it in the graveyard. If we played Polluted Delta, we could have had something to get back. And I was thinking I'd rather just redraw the Eternal Witness later. I'd, I'd rather not have it on board because then, you know, we don't get to draw it. But it's gonna. I forgot it was going to go on the bottom of the library, so... We're just going to pretend Bloodbraid Elf does not have a... I'm just going to pretend it doesn't have a Cascade ability. It's just a 3-2 with haste. Yep. Gideon's pretty good. Can we draw one of those cards that uh, kill Planeswalkers? We have a bunch of them in the deck. Several. Several. It's going to be a land, so well, that's pretty good. We can play that guy next turn. We can go Delta here. Get a Volcanic Island. Actually, let's get a Tropic Island. And play a Tri-Builder. 
and we'll play one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a okay. I think I think everything changes once the Simic Sky Swallower comes down, but who knows? The tables have turned. Oh boy, I think he just makes an emblem, and then they attack for six damage. Well, it's not necessarily going to get shuffled back in. It's going to get shuffled along with the Skeletal Vampire. Right? Uh, put the exiled cards in the bottom of your library in a random order. So the last two get shuffled back in. So it's definitely not... Oh, a Gideon is a 5-5. Five five. Indestructible. Prevent all, prevent all damage that will be dealt to it this turn. Indestructible. So Planeswalker. Deals combat damage to a creature. Destroy that creature. Alright, so the damage is prevented, so it doesn't do that. Alright, well... Interesting. Green, green, green. Bum, bum, chip, dab, 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 chip, bam, bam, ba, dab, dab, burp, burp, burp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> to four. <laughs> like, I don't understand, man. This is utterly ridiculous. The problem is they just go plus one and pump, and then they kill this guy, and then they just go block here and kill that guy. I keep wanting to, like, think maybe I'm just exaggerating. Maybe it's just in my head, but here they are. They're literally right here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10 sources of mana to four cards, one of which is a tri builder. 10 to 4. Like, I don't even know what to, like, how do I don't even know how to, like, rationalize it. I mean, even if you consider, we have 17 lands, and even if you consider, like, tri builder, signet, Bird and Finhorn Elves mana sources, right? Then we have 21 mana sources. 21 to 19, right? But it still should be closer to 5-5 five, five or 6-4 rather than 11-4. Or 7-7, seven, seven, rather. I don't know. Well, if we don't add basics, would we just not add those lands? Oh, I'll play 14 lands because I have some ramp spells. That doesn't make any sense. I hope we're having a radical day just riding the spirit waves of this infinitely mysterious universe we find ourselves. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Again, if we cut two basics, we're literally just playing 15 lands, and that's pretty terrible. I don't know. I, I can't see playing 15 basics being correct, or 15 lands being correct. Like, we don't have... It's not like we have bounce lands or something. Like, you still need to have two lands before any of your ramp spells do anything. Ramp spells are like are like credit in real life. We're like, well, you need credit to build credit. You need ramp spells. Interesting. Do we block that? I don't know. Oh, you just give pro green. I don't know why this was so difficult. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You pump one. Yeah, I'm tapped out. I have no idea why that was so difficult. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ten minutes to I have lethal. Just JK. Okay, man, you got it. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. These these players. These these players. Literally tapped out. All my creatures are green. Just say pro green. And then deal 15. I mean, we get to play Ruinous Path and Kalidus and Oran Viper. I'll keep this hand. That's also the second time in this in this draft alone that we've been gotten by uh, Brave the Elements. First time was when we Pyroclasmed in round two, so. The natural enemy of our deck might actually just be the, the mono white deck. <sighs> I was really hoping to get one hit in there with an Oran Viper, but I guess that is a lot to ask for. <laughs> I mean, considering the, if we had a land, we can play Kodama. If we don't, we can play Kalidus. So, not terrible. Yep, that is a dude. And we don't hit the land. Um, do I want to just Vraska's Contempt you and risk you having Brave the Elements here? Not really. Or steel paladin, sure. That's where you play a free equipment, huh? No sword. Okay. No sword, no attack. I like it. I am a fan. I feel like they 1000% have. What's more important, a red? I guess we can't get a red, so we're just going to get a tropical island. I guess we have a red anyway, so that's not a big deal. No mana tithe. All right, we did it. I can't, I can't see us attacking, because then they just double block and like they lose a guy. Or I mean, they didn't attack into us, so I don't think they want us to gain four and just eat a guy. Gain, I guess, because it doesn't do anything, right? We block the guy, we gain three, we take three. Kodama can block both Brimaz and Pure Steel Paladin and kill them. I guess they could also just block with Brimaz by itself. Boy, they're really... They are really holding up their... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. They are really holding up that Brave the Elements. Do we have an answer? We have an Abrupt Decay in the deck somewhere. I mean, if they play Brave, we're going to easily exile like Brimaz here. Yeah, I think this is also fine. Sure. Um, go blue. Put you down to one card, see what happens. See if you want to keep that Brave the Elements as much as you think you do.
we didn't play this first because we wanted to keep up Vraska's Contempt. So if they double block the uh, Kodama of the North Tree, we can actually, if they go Brave the Elements, we can Vraska's Contempt. There it is. Look how cute. Well, so now we know we're safe to play both of these removal spells. Yeah. Don't really care about that, even though it does have pro black. No blocks. I'm not actually sure how to deal with this guy. I think I'll just play vampire here. Vampire is nice because we can start making more bats in the future turns. You just block here, right? You can almost even you can even pump, and it's pro black, so you just pump this guy to a four one. Hmm. That is a thing. Not really colors I'm concerned with, but. I guess when you put on your pro black guy, it's pretty good. Oh, we do have two non black guys, though. Well, that's fascinating. So we take seven. Unless we want to block and prevent, prevent seven. I think we're actually in a. Actually, it doesn't have pro white, so I'll just block with a bat. Or pro black, rather. So that seems good. Bad preventing seven damage is probably the most I can ask for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I can only do one thing here. I kind of like Scarab God here, and if we and next turn we can go ruinous path, get back the the wingmate rock. They've already played Stasis Snare, so I'm not terribly concerned with that. And they are tapped out, so this guy can actually get through. And I doubt we're trading here. Oh, we can't eat the Wingmate Rock. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we could just bring back a Skeletal Vampire and block the Wingmate Rock forever, so I guess that's fine. Or we can block whatever forever. Kalidus is almost a non-bow here because we want to get back a... Well, actually, even Kalidus makes the creature black, so... Or the uh, Skeletal Scarab God actually makes the dude black, so... So we're just going to go one, two, three, four... Actually, we just get back Kodama of the North Street now. We want blockers. I don't want to be taking a million damage every turn. Bottom both of these... God, this is surprisingly very good against us. I wonder if swords are just very, very good in this cube. They seem pretty okay. Bit blast seems okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can pump this guy twice. Which is a pretty good blocker. I think also go with first strike. We actually have no profitable attacks here, right? If we attack with everything, they can easily just go 3-3 three, three on 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two on either one of these, whichever they prefer. Let's say this guy, and then we get them for 5. I guess we could actually kill this guy. And then our attacks are actually pretty solid. Forever? And I have one card in hand, so. So 
So if we attack with everything, they probably block here. They take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But, or otherwise, the block here, they take five. Scarab God deals you th three. Yeah, I'm actually not going to go into Scarab God. You're going to block Kalidus and Pump. You're going to go to 7. You're going to go to 5. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. That should actually kill you if we get Kodama back, right? Because then we'll have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, so you go to 1. Seems good. Mm-hmm. Solid choice. Oh, I guess they're going to go to two because they have Wingmate Rock, and if they attack with this guy, they go to three, so. Yep. We can just get back. We can actually get back Kalidus if we want to. Thunder, the, the thunder, lightning and the thunder. Do they need a seventh mana there? Mortify. All right. That seems good for us. I mean, I'll regenerate. All right. Rakdos Guild Mage can't kill the 2-1. Flare Husk can't kill the 2 1. Well, that's all very sad. We have Oran Viper. I wish we had more answers to the other things, too. The, um, like Stasis Snare or Honor of the Pure. Dried Sophisticate doesn't seem great. I think our, I think it's I think our, this is the best we're gonna do. What's Rock and Mortify? Do you mean Rick and Mortify? Um, I think this hand is actually just fine. We have. Lots of things to do. We can abrupt decay something early and get eternal witness. Abrupt decay is probably the best card in this matchup because it kills very problematic things. Oh wow! Blame it on the backlight of your keyboard. I blame it on the public education public education system. Am I wrong? No. No, it's the children who are wrong. That was actually a good draw because now we can play Bloodbraid Elf. So, ideally, we got a little curve that's looking like this, boy. You went to Catholic school? Don't be Order of Liet Burr. Oh. Well then. I'm having a good time. Okay, well, this, this curve is actually great. We just have to deal with this guy. If they play, like, Honor of the Pure, we're probably just going to kill it. If they play something like Spectral Procession, that's worse for us. Okay, that guy's dead. I could not have killed that gentleman faster. Hmm. I think it's actually Eternal Witness here. I want this. I I want this back. But next turn we can also Batuminous Blast, whatever they play. So if they have like an Ajani or not an Ajani, but um, a Hero of Bladehold or like a Brimaz, I like making sure we hit our land. Whereas we can still play this. Actually, yeah, it's definitely we're definitely gonna play Signet here. 
Because if they do play a Bramazin, we don't... I mean, like, we don't need this this turn, right? And this isn't going to do anything against this. So I'd rather just make sure we have Kodama or Bituminous Blast Mana. Kodama of the North Tree also does uh, a great job blocking a White Knight. I don't know if you guys knew that. And there's your boy. Big Brims. We actually have to do it on our turn, which is pretty funny. Uh, reason being that I don't want them to brave the elements. Let's do that. All right, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Bituminous Blast. You don't be a Vraska's Contempt or a Ruinous Path. Well, that was a good hit. Oh my god, that was a good hit. Oh, wow. This is how we do it, boys. This is how we do it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, that's sad. I guess we can just turn up when it's abrupt decay. Boo! Booyakasha. It's from Ollie G. You guys, you guys know the Ollie G? Sasha Brincon? He's a genius. Oh, he's a genius. Uh, Landorino. Do, 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 do. So I think we just actually go Rogue Refiner Eternal Witness here. I don't think we have to get this back yet. We'll Rogue Refiner first, see what we hit. Yep, and then we're just going to go Eternal Witness to get back. Abrupt Decay. Which is sad, because boy, getting back Bituminous Blast is also pretty good. But one thing we can do is double block this White Knight, actually. I get a free little, get a free little planes there. Good for you. Good for you. You did it so good. You're so impressive with your little planesies. I will do whatever it takes to get rid of this white knight. That guy's fine. Oh yeah, we're 100% double blocking. Worst case scenario, you brave the elements and we trade a brave for either one of these. This is a great trade. Getting rid of a pro black creature against us is just mind-bogglingly good. If we draw a green source, we can play... Yep, that's just fine. I'll trade a Rogue Refiner for a Brave of the Elements any day of the week. That is very good for us. Especially because I know now you do not have that in hand. Um, What we can do is play Bloodbraid Elf, and if we end up hitting a removal spell, we can Abrupt Decay this in response to get Kalidus. That's not exciting. Uh, what are we going to get here? An overgrown tomb? Probably an overgrown tomb. Do we need it? Not really. Don't really want to attack with anything here because they do have a guy with a thing. I guess we could attack with everything and kill this guy. That seems worse than just getting Kalidus back, right? Yeah, I think Kalidus just wins this board. I mean, so does Kadama of the North Tree, to be fair. Yep, that's pretty okay. Like, they know we have a Rupt Decay in hand, so... Unlikely they're going to walk into that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We can go green, green, green. We'll still have green. Um... Honor of the Pure might be significantly important as well. We don't actually have to do anything yet. Spike Weaver. 
I believe you can get me through the night. It's visionary. And bottom of land. Oh, recurring nightmare, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that seems toppable. One, two, three, four, five. Can I up the north tree? Sacrificing Eternal Witness to get back something stupid is pretty good. Also, Infinite Spike Weavers seems pretty impressive. Alright, they have double black. I don't think that's going to do anything, though. I'm pretty sure their last card is not impressive. I mean, being able to Recurring Nightmare, just get back Rogue Refiner, and it is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitter, Nope, Twitch, and Patreon. Both links are in the description below. If you enjoy the content, uh, slam that bell as well so you get notifications whenever new stuff goes up, which does every day. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it.